Oh, Helen Roden. I love Helen Roden because she's she's a lawyer, but she's a lawyer who's quite up against it. She's um, she's not as in control as she'd like to be. She comes upon a case. She takes it because she wants to fight her father, who's the district attorney. Her phone won't give her any money to take it. No one wants her to take it. And uh, she decides to go after it with all she's got. And she needs a private investigator to help her. And she finds Jack Reacher. And uh, he's the man who doesn't want to be found. So there begins this kind of wonderful double act, really, between them, where, where she's just sort of infuriated, puzzled, charmed, delighted, thinks his man's a kind of total lunatic and thinks he's the most brilliant thing she's ever met. So, I think too often we see a side of the law that's, that's untouchable, that, you know, they're always in control, they're always on top of their game. And I think that from talking to a number of lawyers, sometimes you feel you haven't got the evidence you need. Sometimes you don't know how to pitch the case. And, and I think she's taking a very unpopular case. She's chosen to defend a man who's committed an atrocious, atrocious crime because she believes in justice. She believes that everyone deserves a fair trial. And it's a hard, it's a, it's, it's a hard case to convince people of, you know. And, um, you know, she's, she's, yeah, she's, she's harassed in, in, and, and not totally on sure ground. Well, I think we started, what, Tom and I started watching a lot of films like The Thomas Crown Affair or Three Days of the Condor or even Notorious, you know, Hitchcock films. And it was that sort of witty um, relationship between a man and a woman who are mutually attracted to each other but also a bit baffled by one another. And, you know, they're too busy, they're too professional to really get it together. But, you know, there's admiration there and fondness. But And, and, and I think that's what... Um, really puts chemistry into something. I've started to see that sort of sex scenes come when there isn't any chemistry and if you have got chemistry you kind of don't need to sell it by having a couple get together in a way. <laughs> I've started to think differently.